Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 19 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Now in the last episode we did make quite a few signings at the beginning of the transfer window. Now today we're going to be heading into the Premier League season starting off with a really really tough opening day game against none other than Chelsea who we have just played in the Community Shield in the last episode and we did beat them on penalties but in the remaining games of this episode we're going to be taking on, uh, sorry I've pressed the wrong uh, wrong thing there, I haven't now, we'll go to the calendar. We do also have Arsenal and Everton as well, so three very difficult opening games of this Premier League season. Hopefully as well at some point in this episode the Champions League draw will take place. I hope so anyway because at the minute it's just the qualifying rounds for the Champions League which of course we're not taking uh, taking part in. But let's head into this game against Chelsea and get this Premier League season underway. I'm going to try a new formation as well. Uh, someone asked me to try the diamond to get two, uh, two strikers up top. I have, don't think I've used a diamond so far in this series so I'm going to try it as well. If you guys have any, uh, any suggestions for formations or starting 11s always let me know in the comments I, i'm always willing to try different things guys so yeah be sure to do that so this is the team that we're going to go with it is the wide diamond that was suggested we're going to go with cabrera in goal with veros twan to be up Meccano, and mbabu across the back i'm actually going to put sangari as the lone cdm because he's sort of the biggest strongest cdm that we do have so i think having someone really big and solid there he's six foot three just a big brick shit house sangari so i feel really comfortable having him there on the left we have carrasco on the right we have davis as the cam, we have Mason Mount, and up top, I'm going to try partnering Tammy Abraham and our new player, uh, Joseph Martinez, as well. We do have a really strong bench as well, which is something that we really needed for this season. We have the likes of Morelos in there as well. Dennis, who I might, might even bring them both on at the same time later in this game, sell them two, get on together. But for now, let's get into it. And here we are, guys, opening game of the season, opening day of the Premier League season against none other than Chelsea, who I did mention earlier, we did play them in the, uh, the Community Shield in the last game, in the last episode, sorry, but they were also the big title contenders last year when we did overtake them to win the Premier League, which was an absolutely crazy end to last season. I'm sure they're going to want some kind of revenge against us. Can we maintain our good record against them and pick up three points at the beginning of this season? Well, Riveros, he does find Sangari, the CDM, coming down this left side. Help him out. Get it in. Has been deflected. It's towards Kepper, and Kepper holds it easily. Oh, that's good there from William. Taking on his man. Get it away. Well in and Barbu. Lovely little pass, actually, over to Riveros. Starting off really well here, putting us under a lot of pressure. Chelsea keeping it away from us big time. But now here is William. We've dived in a little bit there. We managed to... Get it away for the time being. It is Carrasco now bombing forward. Go on, son. We know the class that he does have. Flick it on for Martinez. And his touch is a bit too heavy. William again is causing all kinds of problems down that right side. William so far today just turned us a bit too easily. Rabio back to William now. Get it away. Get it away. That'll do. Come on. Sort this out. Oh, and we've lost the ball. Carrasco at the back. It has been crossed in. And it's a great last ditch challenge. Good header. Can we break now? It is Mason Mount. The new lad as well against his former club. Holding it up nicely. That's it. It's Davies. Can spot the man on the right side. It is Mbarbu. It's a great ball to him. If he can keep it in, he can. Get it in the box. Great ball as well. And it's been just taken off the toes of Sangari. who was making a late run in. What an end-to-end -end game we've got on our hands here. Davies now. Still Davies. He goes for goal himself. And it's a good save from Kepper. Here's Mason Mount now. Dinks it in. Good ball. Headed. Oh, and it's Kepper that holds it. It was up Meccano with the header. Oh, this is good stuff now. It is Davies. He's moved from right to left. Good chance for him. Pull it in. He's tried to and it's been taken off the toes of Mason Mount. We're starting to put on a bit of pressure ourselves here. Get it out wide. Good ball for Sangari. He gets it towards the back post. and It's a really, really poor ball. Go on, Davies, nicking it off him in the middle. Still Davies. Go on, Davies. Have a crack yourself. Sonny goes for it. And it's been blocked. Oh, he's won it back, though, immediately. Davies, help him out. He's absolutely all over the place at the minute. Davies, he's been playing every single position across the top. But there goes the half time whistle. Very good performance, I do think. Chelsea definitely seem a lot better. I think they're playing a, a lot more of their first team in this game. I think they played a bit of a lesser side in the Community Shield. But I th still think we deserve to be in the lead in this game. I can't be doing with a nil nil. It always seems to happen, doesn't it? We go from such a high of different games and smashing teams and then we just can't score. Get it away. 
Get it out. It has been struck and it's drifted wide. Decent chance there for Rabio and Chelsea to take the lead early on in the second half. Mason Mount now against Rabio. Comes inside. Mason Mount. It's a very well hit shot. But Kepa holds it. Half an hour to go. I'll probably bring on a couple of subs, a couple of strikers soon. Change things up. Oh, here is Sangari now coming forward. Sangari with the effort. It has took a deflection. And it is a corner. I think it is time to bring in a couple of subs now. Dennis, Morelos and Diaz are all coming on. So that sort of three plays up top are getting to get completely changed now. And hopefully it can mix things up. And it'll all be in our favour. It's Diaz with the ball in. And it's been taken off the head of Upper Meccano. Who was lingering around that back post. Gets it in. Decent ball. And it's been cleared away. By Chelsea, they are messing around with it. We're getting throwing after throwing after throwing here. Really pinning them back. Just need to work an opening here. Here is Sangari. Help him out. Finish. He's put it in. It's in. Oh my god, I thought it was offside. And it does count. Dennis with the goal. I just struck it thinking that it was offside. But it is Dennis who gets our first goal of the season. The substitute. And he buries it in the top corner. What a daft reaction that was from me. I thought he was miles offside. I just struck it out with annoyance. But he's not. He's somehow onside. And it's a fantastic finish by the lad. Get in, son. It's his first goal of the season. It's our first Premier League goal this season. What a, That really was daft one. <laughs> My reaction to that. I just didn't say anything. I thought he was offside. And when the referee waved it on, I couldn't believe it. Five minutes to go, and it looks like we're going to do Chelsea over again. Go on, son. Go on, Davies. Go on, Davies. He does have a crack. It's a great save as well. But here is Morelos now. He does try and turn, and he's lost the ball. The ref's whistle is going to go any minute now, but Chelsea do have one final attack. Can they have one final push? They don't. They give it away. Here's Dennis now. Tries to find his man. He can't. And there goes a full-time whistle. Great start to this season. It was a good performance all in all. To be fair, a really good performance. And I think we're just very lucky that that wasn't given us an offside. Because for me, he looked offside to me, Dennis, when that ball was played. The ref thinks otherwise. We've got away with three points on the opening day of the season. Get in! And that win sees us sit sixth in the league. Obviously, only one game in place, which doesn't really matter too much. The Champions League draw still hasn't uh, taken place as of yet. As you can see, it's the playoff round at the minute and the qualifying rounds and what have you. Uh, Celtic look like they're through. Beating uh, Rosenborg by five goals to one, seven three on aggregate as well. Uh, just pick of the bunch, really. There, uh, Leon as well managing to get through. Uh, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so the the draw for the Champions League should take place hopefully at some point in this episode. But now we have the big task of taking on Arsenal, who also won their first game of the season. We'll be welcoming them to the stage of my life. I'll probably use that diamond again. Actually, I quite liked it. Uh, I might reshuffle a few players, but I quite like that diamond. So this is the team we're going to go with against Arsenal. We have Cabrera in goals, Inchenko, Tuanzebi, Dominguez and Wambasaka across the back. We have Grujic now playing as the CDM. Carrasco on the left, Davies on the right. Now Angel Gomez will be taking that cam spot instead of Mason Mount. And Dennis, of course, after that goal in the last game, he deserves a place. So he will be taking place uh, up top alongside partner Joseph Martinez, who we did just sign from Arsenal, actually. Arsenal have replaced Martinez, though, with Balotti. He was a fantastic, fantastic striker as well. This should be a difficult game. Let's get into it. And here we are, guys, our first home game of this season. Welcoming Arsenal to Sage Malak. It's a beautiful day at the Sage Malak, which is something we usually do not see in this series. It's normally pissing down, which is something I say all the time now, but it's true. It's normally absolutely pouring it down at the Sage Malak. It'd be nice to just pick up a few goals in this game, which is something I'm going to say a lot because we're so used to nil-nils and just the odd one or two-nil win. But this is a great start here. Immediately, it's Carrasco down this left. He strikes it. It's a save and it goes over the bar. What an amazing little pass and move that was. And it's Leno to the rescue for Arsenal. Carrasco to whip in the corner this time. It's headed by David. Sorry, I think it's Dennis. And it's his second goal of the season already. 1-0. Dennis with an absolute bullet header. Usually we take him short just on the off chance. I thought I'd do a regular corner. And Dennis, who isn't the tallest of players, rises above the rest to a Carrasco corner. And it's a brilliant header. It's a bullet header. Far too much power for that Arsenal goalkeeper, Leno. And we're 1-0 up just three minutes into the game. 
get in. What a start. Is this going to be the season where Dennis truly shines? We've brought in a bit of competition. He wasn't incredible last season. Granted, we did have to play him out wide quite a lot due to different reasons and different plays that we didn't really have in that position. We've played him twice up top now when he's been absolutely fantastic already. Grujic with the effort and it's a good save. Good chance now for Arsenal are breaking. And we do manage to get it away. No, we don't. We mess it up at the back and it's... Dominguez trying to recover there. It has been struck and it's gone just wide. What a mess that was at the back between Dominguez and our back line there. Finding acres of space down this left side. It is Carrasco now. He tries to come inside. Gets it across. It is Martinez. He turns. He does strike it. And what a save. Again by the keeper. Oh, it's good stuff here now. It is Gomez. Plenty of space on this side here and his... Struck it against the Arsenal defender. We've played so well so far. Arsenal not creating too much apart from that opening chance. And it's been headed away the corner. Brilliant stuff from us here. Here's Zinchenko now, the left back. Plays it out wide for Wambasaka. Grujic knocks it on for Martinez now. Turns on. He does. Gets it towards the back post. Can he get there? Dennis can. He gets it back across the goal acrobatically. But no one could get there. He's having a brilliant game so far. Here's Carrasco now. He takes a shot himself. It's been blocked. Back to Carrasco. Here's Dennis. Hits the post. Can he get there? He can. It's Martinez who gets his first goal for the club. An absolute comedy of errors. A ridiculous goal. A scrappy goal. But we'll take it 2 -0 up, get in. What an absolute joke of a goal that was. It fell back to Carrasco, somehow found its way to Dennis, hits the post and there is Martinez just lurking in a bit of space there to knock it into an empty net against his former club. His first goal for the, for the lads. 2-0, get in. Here's Gomez now. Good turn here from Gomez. Could this be three? It is Gomez. It's three. It's an absolute dream start to this game. A dream half. And it's Gomez who came in for Mason Mount. And he's continued his fine form from last season. Angel Gomez with an absolutely beautiful goal. What a lovely little individual finish that was. You found Gomez. Beautiful little turn there. Completely doing his man. And with the outside of his foot, he's absolutely rifled it into that top right-hand corner. What a strike. 3-0 before half-time. What a start this is, lads. Absolutely incredible. Now here's Fernandez coming down the side here. He does. Wambasaka. Bolotti now, the new striker for them. Mkhitaryan tries to get it back in. It's that final ball for them that just hasn't been coming off for Arsenal. But I'm not going to complain. 3-0 up at half-time as the whistle has just gone. Perfect performance. Not too much to say either, really. Three really nice little goals. Gomez getting on the score sheet as well as uh, as well as Martinez and Dennis as well. Perfection. I like class football. Find him. It is Dennis now down this left. Come inside. Nicely done. Dinks it in. Surely. Oh, and that would have been class. But Gomez smashes the volley over the bar. What a goal that would have been. Everything's clicking at the minute. Everything's clicking. It's only early doors in terms of the season. But we're looking so much better already. Now I'm going to bring on Jones, Mount and McTominay as well for the final half an hour. We'll just get some game time in, especially when we're 3-0 up. Here's a good ball and nearly falls for him. De it's in! It's Davies who gets it! I wasn't expecting that again. 4-0. This is an absolute demolition at the stage of my life. The first game of the season at the stage of my life. And we've put four past Arsenal and they are not a bad side whatsoever they just couldn't get the corner away could they and it falls for Davis who rises above uh, Mkhitaryan and knocks it past the keeper 4-0 game dead and buried it was actually Neil McTominay who got the original header but it has fell for Davis who had a relatively simple header 4-0 I hope we take this form into the Champions League I just can't wait for us to play in the Champions League in the first place just to hear that music with Sunderland involved. He's just absolutely insane. It's really good that we're going to be able to experience that. I'm not too sure how much I can show of the Champions League opening um, opening scenes when we do eventually... Oh, it's a good chance here for Arsenal and they've got one back. It's 4-1. They've really just cut us open with an absolutely excellent through ball which interrupted what I was saying and it's Pavon who gets the goal. What a ball that was though, to be fair. Absolutely cracking pass that was. 
completely done us by a surprise. 4-1, first uh, goal we've conceded so far this season. But what I was going to say about the Champions League was that I know that some of the YouTubers who've had some copyright issues when they have played, um, what, what, when they've played in the Champions League on career mode, because obviously the music plays, and then YouTube will take it down because it's got the, uh, it's got the music in. So I'll, I'll have to sort of test run that, or at least maybe just show like little clips of it rather than the full thing. But we'll have to see. Four-one though. Whilst I was trying to tell you that, Pavon bombing down his right side. He's been a real danger man since coming on for Arsenal. We do manage to get this one away. Now here's Dennis, who has so much pace as well. That's beautiful there from Dennis. Bombing down this left. Can he be helped out? Here he has. Surely it's Mount. And he's put it over the bar. Oh, that would have been fantastic for him to get himself his first goal for the club. He's opened up. Maybe a little bit too much there. And he's put it over the bar. Brilliant play from Dennis, though. Again, he's been absolutely incredible in the opening couple of games so far. Now, here is Dennis. He goes for it himself. <gasps> Jesus Christ, I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> Uh, relatively optimistic, wasn't it? And there goes the full-time whistle. Our first game at the stage of my end with a 4-1 victory over Arsenal. Absolutely incredible. Now, after that game, we have received a massive, massive transfer offer for Dennis, which I just can't justify selling him. Yes, it is 41.7 million, which is absolutely incredible. We could get up to 71 million for Dennis, but he's only 23 He's rated 82, and he started off the season absolutely firing. And our main concern last season is that we weren't scoring goals. So if he's starting this season banging the goals in like he is, why would we get rid of him? You know, and we're beating the better teams at the minute. So I, I really don't want to get rid of him. We could probably make a ton of money off him, but I don't really want to. We also had a loan offer for Juan Basaka, which I'm not interested in. An offer for Riveros, which, again, I'm not interested in either. But Dennis, you know... That is a huge, huge opportunity to make some money. But I, I'm really, really not interested as of right now. It, I'm probably a bit stupid for doing it. We could probably bring in a good couple of players to solidify the squad because we do have quite a lot of strikers. But I'm not really interested in getting rid of Dennis whatsoever, particularly because of the start he's had. But that win against Arsenal does see us sit second in the league. I know there's a few teams that have played a game extra than us at the minute. But two wins from two, scoring five, which is fantastic and conceding just the one. That's really good indeed, but now we are going to be going away from home at Goodison Park, taking on Everton. And this is the team we're going to be going with against Everton. We have Cabrera in goals, Inchenko, Leon Dama, Upper Meccano, and Mbabu across the back. We have Hendo as the CDM today. I am going to try Diaz as the left winger. He is complaining about game time a little bit. I have you know, discussed with you guys about Diaz's position before. He can play as a centre mid or as a left winger, but his pace is really, really low. Everything else is fantastic, but he's really, really slow. But I'm going to try him out on the left-hand side today and see how he gets on. Gooch is going to get his first start of the season as well on the right side with Mount again as the cam. Up top, we have Dennis and Martinez because those two seem to be on fire at the minute. Let's get into it. And here we are at Goodison Park. Today it is absolutely pouring it down. We have re shuffle the squad a little bit for today's game, but there were just some players that I did want to get a little bit of game time in early in the season. I don't know whether we're going to see the Champions League draw in this episode, you know. I did check just before the game, and uh, it's still stuck on the playoff rounds. I'm not too sure when the date is for when the draw takes place for the Champions League, but we'll, we'll soon find out at some point, won't we? But... Will we see ourselves pick up three wins from three? Three wins from the opening three games of the season in this episode. I don't want to jinx it, but we shall see. Oh, that's class now. Hendo coming down this left side this time. Gets it in. And it's held by Pickers. So I'll make you run. Here is Diaz now. Like I say, he's not the fastest. But he's very good with his feet. Plays it back for Hendo. Mount on the turn, finds your man, it is Dennis again, who's on fire at the minute, still Dennis, he does strike it, and it's held by Pickford. Good stuff now, it is Martinez, going some get at him, get at him, get it out wide, and it's been blocked, they're defending really, really well Everton at the minute, seem a lot more difficult and a lot more compact than either of the teams that we've already played so far this season, I find it really difficult to break them down, Ricardo Rodriguez, for Everton as well, very good player. I think he'll be getting on a little bit now in this career mode, but still a very good defender nevertheless. Now here is Diaz. Gil Diaz, he finds Inchenko down this left side. Get Dennis in, he is onside, surely. He gets it across, goal, it's a good ball towards. Gooch, but it has been cleared away. 
Be decent start, but the defensive work from Everton has been fantastic so far. Dennis. Really, really struggling. Now here is Diaz. He does get it in towards his man. Can he get there first? And it's Pickford who saves the day for Everton again. So many nearly moments in this first half for us. We're playing fantastically well. Just can't get down the, the centre at all because they've got so many bodies, Everton. We are breaking forward though now. Find your man. And again, it is Dennis. Takes a touch. Surely Dennis. It's in. It's 1-0. And Dennis continues his fine run of form. We really had to work our way so intricately through that really, really compact Everton defence, but nothing is stopping this man at the minute. Dennis, 1-0 just before half-time. A lovely, well-worked goal. Brilliant stuff. Great first touch there. And then again by Upper Meccano, the defender, who was bombing forward for this attack. Eventually falls for Dennis. It's his third goal already this season. What a start this lad has had. And there goes the half-time whistle. A really, really solid effort from the lad so far. A really good de defensive display from Everton. But eventually we have managed to break the deadlock with that man, Dennis, yet again. Oh, Walcott now to Benega. Walcott again gets it in. Get it away, Willen and Barbu. And again, Mason Mount tracking back to help us out with the back there. But Hendo does lose out. Or does he win it back? He doesn't. Walcott now. They've come out firing in the second half. Everton and Bolo down this right side. Gets it in. It's a very good ball. Get it away, Mbabu. Well played, son. Go on and again. Find Dennis. It is Dennis now. Take a good touch. Strike it, Sonny has. I had to hit it early because there was a man coming in behind. Still, it's all Everton in the second half so far. Here is Richarlison. Tries to get it in, but Leon Dharma doing some really brave defensive work there. Morelos, Abraham and Carrasco are all coming on now. Oh no, it is a good chance now for Everton. Good strike and it's a save by Cabrera. Looked like it was going wide anyway, but even so we had to be very cautious there. Just under five minutes remaining of this game and to be honest this second half, it's been absolutely 100% all... Everton, but they've given it away now to Abraham, and we do get ourselves a throw. We've barely been in the Everton half at all in this second half whatsoever. We've really had to dig deep for this one if we do manage to get away with the win. Played for Gooch now. He does dig one in. Good ball. It is headed, and what a save that was. It was a great header by Carrasco, and a great save as well by Jordan Pickford. Our first chance, really, in the second half. Corner comes in, and Pickford is going to get there. It falls for Gooch. For Zinchenko, he digs one out and that one's been blocked as well. The whistle has to go. It has done. We've finished the episode with three wins from three. But that was by far the most difficult game so far in this episode. Considering we played Chelsea and Arsenal, that was a really, really difficult game. So, at the end of the episode, this is how the league table looks, guys. And look who has kindly decided to join us up in the top two, Newcastle. Getting seven points from their opening three games. Of course, we've won three from three. The Champions League draw still hasn't taken place. So that will probably happen in the next episode, maybe. I'm really not too sure. Also, the offer is still on the table for Dennis. I really don't want to accept it, but what do you guys think, seriously? If I can manage to get up to 70 odd million for him, we basically have a whole new transfer window episode. Uh, in the, it, if we do manage to sell him anyway, or, or if we do sell him. But to be fair, he's had an absolutely insane start to the season. We haven't had someone who's consistently scored you know, throughout the season so far, really. And three goals from three is fantastic. So why would you really want to sell someone like that? But let me know in the comments anyway. Anyway, in the uh, the rest of the top four, we have United and Fulham making up um, the top four there with Huddersfield, Liverpool and Stoke in the bottom three. Liverpool having an awful start to this season. But that will be the end of the episode, guys. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like button for me. It will be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now... You take care and stay jammy.